One may ask Shiva Prabodhananda Saraswati, Oh Shripad, what spiritual practice will you perform to have your desires fulfilled then? Now you see, Prabodhananda Saraswati is a is a he he was before sannyasi right uh, he come yes. and then Vrindavan he took the shelter of Radhika and this Prabodhan uh, and Sosati in a physical life read again. One may ask Sri Prabodhananda Saraswati, Oh Sri Pad, what spiritual you see, practice? see, Prabodhananda Saraswati and one name Sri Pad. Two names at one place. Means one is my physical identity, one is my spiritual identity, soul identity. The soul identity is a Sri Pad. And the physical identity is Prabodhan and Sosa. What is meaning of Sri Pad? Sri means Radhika, Pad means the lotus feet. Who accept the lotus feet of Radhika, they are Sri Pad. So, at the same time, two names are mentioned here. This Prabodhana Sarasati is Sripa. You take the center of Swami. This Prabhupada. Who identify himself, his soul consciousness. He is living in his Sarup consciousness form, in his spiritual form. Oh Sripa. Oh, Sripad, what spiritual practice? What is spiritual practice you do? And now you see from where you can do the spiritual practice, physically or from the soul. We do the spiritual practice physically. It's not a spiritual practice. It's a religious practice is a practice of religion. A spiritual practice identifying with spirituality. When you identify your spiritual consciousness, you stay there and then you do the practice that is a spiritual practice. Before I am doing physically, to be in goodness because I am in ignorance, I am in passion, I want to be in goodness. I am doing dharma, artha, religious practice, artha, earning money with the religious way. Kama, I do the family life in a religious way. What is religion talking? That is dharma, artha, kama and moksha. I want to liberate myself. But what is the liberation? At the time of death or before the death? Liberation is the real liberation when I become free from that practice. That is moksha. So this Prabodhan and Saraswati is liberated in his physical identity because he is doing this, living in that consciousness and he wants to do the spiritual practice. What he is doing? Go on. What spiritual practice will you perform? You perform what you do, what I have to do in my life, because you are showing me what is the way to do. 
what you perform, what type of spiritual practice you perform. Teach me. What spiritual practice will you perform to have your desires fulfilled? And when you are in the spiritual practice, is also desire. Is a spiritual desire. One when I'm in my material consciousness, when I'm in senses, there is desire. When I'm in body consciousness, is also desire. When I am in my spiritual identity form in Sripad, in the shelter of Sripad, is also desired. So what is your desire then? Then I will see my desire and your desire is same or different. Go on. Sripad says in this verse, Yes. Oh mind, Go to Vrindavan with love. You see, what we do? Repeat this line. Oh mind, go to Vrindavan with love. More loudly. Oh mind, go to Vrindavan with love. With love. <laughs> if you have love, you will not bring out mind from here because you don't like here, just so mind is going to Russia. When I have a love, my mind will not go out from here. Oh, mind, go with love here. And live with love, share with love, and receive the love. This is Vrindavan. And mind is doubtful, so keep also the thing to mind to be in love. Oh mind, don't bring me out from the love. Because I identify myself, who I am then this should be in love. <coughs> in the center of Vrindavan, Sham plays his enchanting flute. Yeah. Then what will happen? You will see in the center of Vrindavan. What is center? Every place, every atom, you will see the Sham is playing because everything is centered. Every place is playing the flute. Why? This flute playing is attraction. He, he want to attract that soul, living soul, who is totally want to serve him with love. That is the meaning of gopi. Then you can see the flute, listen the flute, you can attract by his flute. If not, if there is no love, you will never listen this. In Rama Avatar, 10,000 years, 15,000 years, Rishi, Mahasi, they are want to, to do tapa, for what? To get the association, close association of Rama with love. But it's not possible. Why? Because he's Mariyada Purushottam. He said, this is not possible this time. You have to wait. When I will come as a Krishna, appear again, then I will play the flute and I will attract you. And because you are already do the tapa, you will realize yourself and you will come as a gopi to me. 
because this living soul is a prakriti, not a purush. Sarva Dharma Paritaya Mam Nikam Sharanam Raja. Mam means Maya. Pandit Ji, yes. what is means Mam? Ma is Krishna. Mam means I. No. Mam. Mam. Ah. Ah. Mm. Mai. Mai. And Ekam means? One. What is Krishna's one? Radhika. Swami. <coughs> Ma mekam. Krishna says, Sarv dharmana pratajya. All dharma religious activities, what you do, is not useful. It will not bring to you. You do for your goodness to how to be a good person. I not influenced with that. You have to leave this practice. You have to come in pure goodness. Suddha Sattva. That is your spiritual identity. This is the pure goodness. There is no mix of business. And when you realize this pure goodness, Suddha Sattva, then go to my one. If you not go to my one, you will never, never, never understand me. Because you have no love, you will become logical, philosophical, not a lover. If she spray you one drop of love in your life, life will change. Ma may come. My one. Even I cannot say, and you will never convince, you will only know the God. You will never learn how to be always with me. Saranam, yeah. That is the meaning. What you take this meaning is upon your realizations. Oh, give up all forms of religion and take shelter of my lotus feet. <coughs> Those whose hearts have been purified by spiritual practice can hear the call of this flute. It's purified. My heart is purified by all practices. Then I can call. I can listen his call of the flute. Then I'm soon sakte hai, tus madhur bad morli ko, aur morli bajane wale ko dek sakte hai. Yes, I can listen his sweet flute. And who is playing this flute, I can see him also. The hearts of such devotees are absorbed in the mood of Braj. Yeah. You cannot feel that you can get other places because the flute is always in Braja. You see Krishna outside of, of Vrindavan, he is keeping flute with him. <laughs> he keeps flute here. 
because nobody will want to listen his food. They will ask something, <laughs> some, some material thing. So food is not necessary. Dekh lo Maharaj, kahi bahar mein fruit ke saath nahi dekhoge Krishna ko. Wo to sab maangane wala baita hai wahan. Kahi fruit sunne wala abhi lega aapko. Prem hi hai hai. Jo prem, who loves, he plays fruit. If somebody asks some material thing, he is very happy because easy for giving. <laughs> but playing flute is difficult for him because he has to he has to flow it, right? And he has to give the air in that pressure. And why he do this? <laughs> to attract the all gopis, all the living soul who wants to love it. That is the only thing he do when some lover come near to him, then he take up his fruit and he pray. Oh, he will not ask anything. He asks my sweet mother. He asks my sweet meetings. He now has other desires. They will go there with love, eager to meet their beloved. You see, that is a beloved only can go to the lover. Eagerness is there. <coughs> In lover is an eagerness to meet the beloved. That eagerness only the realized soul means realize of the identity, <coughs> self-realized person can eager to meet him. because this living soul has only one beloved. He identify himself, not physically now. He is eager and the beloved is eager to listen, take the love. Both are eager to exchange each other. Jai Maharaj, 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 the pure soul has eager to listen to that. Not only satisfied by listening the flute, he wants to see the person who is sing, playing the flute. knowledge of the impersonal Brahman or the localized Paramatma and reverential regulated devotion to the Supreme Lord will cast one far away. Repeat again loudly. Knowledge of the impersonal Brahman or the localized Paramatma and reverential regulated Reverend sir, if you give too much, then he will not play. You cannot listen to the flute. You have to forget. You have no time for that. <coughs> you have so intense love that you forget that I, you not want to give reverence, you want to hug. You want to meet intense of love. 
This is outside business. So, repeat that. Knowledge of the impersonal Brahman or the localized Paramatma. Yes, I I am. Shamji Nikar Swami Viragan with the Sikhal. Yeah, yeah. And the reverential regulated devotion to the Supreme Lord will cast one far away from the path of tasting the sweetness of Braj. So understand, my dear. Huh? Last line I have. Reverential regulated devotion to the Supreme Lord will cast one far away. Far away. Not you cannot be so near. Because love cannot come. You can love only to junior. Why you love me? Because I am your younger brother. So naturally love will come to give to me. If I am very senior, you cannot love me. Is a natural. Why you love Radhika? Because she is junior to you. Love is a nature to flow in junior or parallel. Love business is very different. Atpata. <laughs> love flow only. When you make senior to him, God to him, no love will come. Because he will give you, you will ask him. Love means you have to give to him. Supreme Lord will cast one far away from the path of tasting the sweetness of Raj. Yes. That is the sweetness of Raj. When this desire will come, you will enter in the sweetness of Raj. Then you have to forget that He is a Supreme Lord here. He is a God. You have to think that He is no, like me. He is my junior. Okay, Jesus is a senior to His Father. But He has so much intense love that He give His body for His love for the Father. He said, this is your body. I give you. If you are happy with this, I give you. Do anything what you like. This is the love of Jesus. He no sacrifice for us. He sacrifice for his in his love to Father. <coughs> he becomes senior in his love for giving. Who gives is a bigger. You see, if somebody gives like this, you take like this. Why Radhika is bigger? Because she gives love and Radhi Krishna is receiving. So who gives, they are bigger. And who receives is smaller because he has to take. So Vrindavan is just Reverse. Givers are the bigger, receiver are the smaller. If you give love, you are bigger and he is smaller where you give love. Now you decide where you want to give love. It 
is only pure, spontaneous love that brings us on the path to Braj. This is the path of Braj, and this brings to us in the path of Braj is spontaneous love. You come, you go. You come, you touch and go. You touch and go. You touch and go. Why? Because it's spontaneous. How I will do it? But one day you stay here because you like this spontaneous. You don't want to go from this. It's too much to to come out <clears throat> from this is spontaneous life. And it is that love that brought the previous acharyas like Bilva Mangala, Jayadev, Chandidas, the six Goswamis, and so many other great devotees to Braj. Kuzme, Vidhamanga, Chandila, Vidyapati. Jayadev. Jayadev. Six Goswamis. Six Goswamis. Then what is the meaning? You have to read that thing to develop a spontaneous life. How they are in the a spontaneous love, what is the meaning of that? So I give you two books. Is a, one is a Raghunathas Goswami, Vilap Goswamanjali, one is Prabodhan Sashakti. You will feel the taste of that. Because they are living in a spontaneous life. Philosophies, why philosophy we listen? To hammer myself, so much bondage are there. I want to break my bondage from my senses. I need some hammer, and hammer is the philosophy. <laughs> He's hammering to myself to how to come in goodness. If not, then I will read the Vedic philosophy, I will read the Bible, I will read the Purana to hammer myself to pure, make the purity. But this will bring you only in purity, in goodness, not even the purity. Again you will come down in ignorance, again you go in passion, again hammer yourself. This will go on and on, twenty years, thirty years, it will go on and on. <coughs> Your result is not happening. Why? Because we are not doing this. For the moment it make me to understand it's good for my mind to calculate some good things. But this is not a final goal to become good. Pure goodness. Are pure goodness is what is the meaning of pure goodness if it's not used in the right way? <coughs> if not love is come there, then again the pure goodness is a marginal potency. Marginal potency, again it will go back. And if love will come, relation will come in pure goodness, it will never move the other places. Because he, he tastes this love. He don't want to stay there he is. 
He wants to move on. He wants to be mad. He wants to be a lusty. He wants to be a crazy. Like before he was in the material life, same thing will happen from this day of good day. Why we learn to become crazy for this moment? How to be a crazy and mad and lusty from onwards this. Then is a learn what I learned not before my life is useful now. Same words will be used here also. But in this pure goodness, then is a developed relation and divine connection with it. Then my all these habits will go because automatic. You don't need to do the anything for that. His automatic change will come because your goal is to find more best and best. This is the wish in life. So I got it. When you got it, everything is solved. This is a spiritual life. Other than that, other than this, <coughs> it's just goodness. Yes, goodness. Some sadhana, some tapa is going on. But what is the use of tapa? What is the use of the Say more brata, say more tapa. This is my tapa and brata. This is my mantra japa. When I identify myself relation with you, and I stop adoring to you, and I want to start loving to you, And I want, I start giving to you. I don't wish anything from you. Day and night these devotees are crying out. Day and night? What is day for them and night for them? You will see he's sleeping. He's not sleeping, he's in meditation. He's not sleeping. He is doing this and that, you see that, but he is fixed there. He knows never change himself. Day and night he is fixed there. Others see in different way, but he is fixed there. Nothing is there for him, night for him. Everything is for him. Nothing is good for him, nothing is bad for him. Vrindava, where is Krishna, the cowherd prince, who keeps a flute to his mouth? Where is that threefold bending form? Where is that flute song? Where is the Lord who enchants even Cupid? She is coming to you. He chant the Cupid. Means Kama Deva. When he enchanted the Cupid, how Kama Deva will disturb you? He can 
He is, Cupid is also enchanted. The karma desire is automatic finish. He enchanted to put it. Srila Narutan Das Thakur sings, I will bathe in the cool water of the Yamuna, overwhelmed by feelings of ecstatic love. Raising my arms, I will wander around in Vrindavan, crying out Krishna's name. Who can do this? <coughs> Only the lover can do for beloved. That is good. That is the, your soul. When this becomes in pure goodness, and this by the grace of Radhika, you got this mercy, ma makeup, and you take the Sri path, you become Sri path, Radhika's dasi, it start happening. Because this mood, who will give you to love? Only Radhika can give, Mother Jasoda can give, and his friend can give. Show me other place who gives you. I will soothe my burning heart by seeing Radha and Krishna. A, uh, by seeing Radha and Krishna's sitting place. And I will roll on the ground there in loving ecstasy, calling out, Where is Radha, the queen of my heart? Where are you, O Lord, lifter of Govardhan Hill? Above the bower of Madhavi vines, the male and female parrots blissfully sit and sing songs about Radha and Krishna. I will sit at the foot of a tree there and soothe my heart by hearing them. When will I pass my days in such happiness? Another reading of this verse can be, O oh mind, beware of random association with the residence of Braj. It is difficult to associate with devotees in a purely Krishna conscious way without falling into frivolous and mundane talks as it is to control the mind. Many great saints have therefore preferred a life of solitude in Braj over a life of social engagements there. In this way, they could easily catch the, that divine jewel named Radha, who redeems her surrendered devotees with the nectar, nectar stream of her good feelings. One more paragraph. Yeah. Yeah. The word satarani in the text can also mean Radhika redeems Krishna. Who is Sat, real in all three phases of time? One may ask here, does Radha have to redeem Krishna at all? He is, after all, not a conditioned soul, is he? The answer is, Krishna is suffering from the pain caused by Cupid's darts, and Radha redeems him 
by showering him with the nectar stream of her bodily association. The root verb div of divya nirvana <coughs> means play, which means that the sweet erotic play of Radha, which makes Krishna happy, takes place in Vrindavan. And that is why Sripad eagerly sends his mind to Vrindavan. Another explanation is that the Sat Krishna was eager to relish the love of Radha in Braj, and therefore descended to earth to become relieved from the burning agony of that desire. That divine jewel named Radha is a stream of nectar, and simply by taking shelter of her, one will attain the rare love of Braj. like a stream, stream of Dhanga. Where you will go, this stream will go with you. Then have mercy. Never leave her. Teach everything. It's only possible to go to her in your pure goodness. Right. When you want to give, you have nothing to ask. After this checking, in so divine and nectar place, you will never want to think back. This you will realize in this life. This is the reason to take birth. This is the reason to take the shelter. Chaitanya, this is the meaning of Chaitanya, means consciousness, to be conscious. Chaitanya means consciousness. And its mercy flow from Chaitanya, consciousness. From her, she gives the eyes to see Give the feeling to understand, give the understanding, hear to listen, her flow. Everything she gives mercy, that is sorrow. A spiritual body. She inspired to the one of his kinkari, Guru. Then you say, is my Guru because you receive that, your eyes spiritual form. 
but he is not giving guru is nothing is boss kinkiri is the servant of the boss radhika is giving to him he is trying to do this because i accept her like a phone is the instrument like a instrument servants are the instrument of the boss why she do to make close to you to understand more to more close to if not then you will see alter wood and plastic iron different different thing the feelings cannot grow without harmony one bulgarian mata ji every day she make the clothes she has no job and you see every day she make clothes and dress evening she bring to her bed they have bed make the bed and everything again then she bring all time full service <coughs> because of love is not that formal tea's doing because i i got this for the formal tea that drink seva no service mood love mood you see she go to the outing she bring to you I said, why you break that? He was not going to out it like this. Feelings with love. How you are connected? That is the meaning. How you feel? Your closeness is your feeling. Can say your closeness. How much you feel? like what mother feel is sad why because of the connection when lover is very close to his beloved feelings and the love make close yeah 